our awards presentation of 2021. Ordinarily, if things were normal, uh, and they, they really haven't been normal for a long time, uh, then we would be um, here in the evening, we would have 20 or 30 teachers over there, bright lights, glitter, lots of things going on, uh, but that hasn't been quite uh, possible as yet this year. But what we really want to do is make sure that we are getting back to as normal uh, as we can. So we've had sports day this week, uh, and for our year seven and eight, that's the first time we've done a sports day at this school. Um, and that's an annual event that we pride ourselves on hosting. And the awards presentation is another annual event that we pride ourselves on hosting. Um, so welcome, and you are here because you are fabulous. And you have had a brilliant year, and you've responded really, really well to all of the challenging circumstances that have been thrown your way over the last 12 to 18 months. So it's all good that you're here. There's just a couple of little housekeeping things that we need to have a look at uh, before we go. Um, if you do need to go to the toilet, if you're desperate and you need to go to the toilet, then there is the staff corridor um, just opposite the conference room uh, next to Mr. Blakeo's office if you desperately need to go to the toilet. Um, fire exits, we can make our way through the front door um, and out onto the AstroTurf if needed. There is no planned fire drill, so if the alarm goes off, we will need to evacuate. Um, if you've got your phone with you, please put it on silent. Um, just to be respectful to all of the people who are presenting up here, believe me, it's not easy speaking in front of people. Um, and make sure that when people receive their prizes and certificates, that we are celebrating all of our winners today. Um, in terms of how to collect your awards, um, this is what I'd like to do. So you can see here a slide from uh, 2019. These were a group of winners in year 10. And the way this will work today is we will put a slide up with all the winners in a subject. So this is our gold awards from year 10. And then the teacher who is presenting the award will say a few words about each of those people on that slide in turn. And then when the teacher has finished speaking about all of those winners on that slide, they will ask you to give them a round of applause. And at that point, if the winners could then come up and collect their certificates, from either Miss Gupta, who's standing in for many, many teachers who are here, or what should hopefully be the subject leader if they are here. You're going to notice that there are going to be people coming and going at different points during the afternoon. Uh, it's been a little bit crazy the last few days uh, in terms of students who are either here or not here and teachers who are here or not here. So there's been lots and lots of last minute plans. We're on about plan H or I at the moment, but that's what I'd like you to do. So we'll read through the names of the winners on uh, each slide. Wait till each is being talked about. Uh, you'll be asked to give them a round of applause, and when people are clapping, if those people whose names have been mentioned and your lovely photos will be there, come up and collect your certificate from somebody who will be stood around about here. Okay, so without further ado, uh, if I can invite Ms. Chaloner to come and kick us off, we'll go through our subject awards. Okay, good afternoon. I'm obviously presenting the awards for maths and the winners are the following on the slides there. So in year seven, I'd like to pre present the award to Sadi. Sadi is an excellent mathematician and most recently he achieved a gold award in the junior maths challenge and was put forward to the higher kangaroo challenge where he received a merit. This is coupled, however, by a fantastic work ethic. He's worked tremendously hard throughout the year. He's completed every homework set on Dr. Frost to a really high standard and completed all his work remotely. He's always eager to engage, share his detailed, well thought out answers in lessons. A real pleasure to teach. Faye has really impressed the maths department with her resilience this year. Every lesson she arrives with a smile on her face, keen to learn. She engages in class and always shows 100% commitment to her studies. She continues to push herself onto the challenging questions and is always curious about the work. She should be proud of the progress she has made and we hope this award will give you the confidence to believe that you are a great mathematician. AXA, I don't think AXA's here unfortunately, but AXA has an excellent attitude to learning. She's diligent, has worked consistently throughout the year, including remote learning. 
She's self-motivated, enthusiastic, curious, and always wants to improve her grade and get better at her maths. Her work is completed to a high standard and she has made fantastic progress throughout the year. My last award is for Year 10, Key Stage 4 Statistics and Further Maths. Isha is a perfect example of an ideal student. She's worked extremely hard in statistics and we look forward to her studying further maths next year. She's self-motivated and driven to succeed. She always goes that extra mile, extra revision, finishing things off during break time, discussing her work with the teacher. She has a great work ethic and has made fantastic progress this year. Well done to all the winners. And if the winners would like to come and get their certificates. So starting off with our Key Stage 3 winners. So uh, for Key Stage 3 Biology, our winner is Kivia Banabai. And I've got a quote here from Mr. Shoesmith. She always puts in 150% effort during lessons and her subject knowledge is fantastic. She's produced some top quality home learning, showing her brilliant creative side in her projects. She always has a positive attitude and is extremely friendly and supportive of her peers, ensuring that they all succeed together. Her enthusiasm is contagious and she knows a real, uh, shows a real interest and dedication in science. Our Key Stage 3 winner for chemistry is Diana Rocha and I've got a quote here from Mrs Smith, her teacher. She always tries her hardest to complete all her work, even during lockdown, uh, she did her remote learning to the highest standard. She's extremely responsible during practical work and works safely and methodically. She is a very kind person and eager, eager to help her peers. And then finally in Key Stage 3 we have our physics winner, Carl Myers. And I've got a quote here from Mrs. Thompson, his physics teacher. He is such a pleasure to teach and have in the classroom where you know he will complete all his work that he has been set and always strives to challenge himself every lesson. He asks fantastic questions and gives insightful and well thought out answers in return. He shows a real interest in science which shines through in his classwork. And I hope you'll join me now congratulating our first stage three. If you'd like to go get your tickets. She's a model student, absorbing every single word from the teacher in front of her and trying her very hardest in everything that she does. She's extremely resilient and not afraid to challenge herself and she's a real asset to the science classroom. For Key Stage 4 Biology, we have got Bradley Thompson. I have a quote here from Mr Pratt. Bradley is a very hard-working student who uh, quietly completes all tasks to the best of his ability. He's a dedicated student and is passionate about science in and beyond the classroom, volunteering his time and knowledge in the school garden. He is a delight to teach, always trying his best and striving to improve. And finally, our Key Stage 4 Physics Award goes to Natasha Warswick. And I have a quote here from Mr Saloka, her physics teacher. She always does, uh, does what matters most and works extremely hard uh, and is completely focused on the task in hand. She uses her amazing wealth of um, background knowledge to enrich the lessons through her answers. She always knows what she wants to achieve and uh, what she needs to do to get there and is an all-round fantastic student. Really well done to our key stage four winners. Our winner is Sania Khan, and I have a quote here from her teachers at Crawshaw. 
Sania is a hard-working, well-organised and is consistently performing well in her assessments despite the interruptions that COVID has caused. She demonstrates a good knowledge and understanding of biology subject content and has demonstrated fantastic practical skills as well. She's highly motivated and determined to succeed in biology. And our winner for applied science is Atia Zena. And Atia is, a, uh, is very thorough in the way that she completes every single task that she is assigned. Her, ha her standards are extremely high and she absolutely lives up to them. Even though she claims to dislike practical work, she is always fully engaged and tries her absolute hardest to complete tasks to the best of her abilities. Sometimes having to repeat things a few times, but it's such a great example of resilience to her classmates. And congratulations to all of you. so lovely this afternoon. So I am here to present the, words, uh, the awards for MFL and for English. We are going to start with Key Stage 3 Modern Foreign Languages. So the... F no, we're doing, we're doing English first. Okay, that's great. We're doing English first. So our first winner in English then is Rhys Poiser. And uh, Rhys is obviously a very special student because when I asked for citations about Rhys, I had lots and lots of volunteers to tell me just what a wonderful learner he was. Uh, so I've got here that Rhys is a wonderful student that never seems satisfied in lessons unless he is given 110% in both his book and class discussions. He is always making everyone laugh and feel at ease within lessons and how comfortably he just gets on making educated jokes about the topics and helping others in their understanding. He's an absolute credit to the year group and should never stop being such a bright spark that is always eager to help and to learn. Uh, our next one is Chloe Temporal and I haven't actually written any notes about Chloe because I teach her so I thought I would really like to speak from the heart about you Chloe. This could go really badly. Uh, but Chloe is, people say students are a pleasure to teach and it can never be overused with someone like Chloe. She absolutely lights up the room in our English lessons. She uh, volunteers first to read aloud. She's got a beautiful reading voice which she is not uh, embarrassed about. She enjoys sharing part in the literature. She really unpicks situations, really unpicks literature and can see things from different uh, perspectives. Her originality of her analysis is incredibly sophisticated. And I think the biggest compliment I can give to, to Chloe is the fact that she encourages and she allows other students in the classroom to be their best. I can feel it in the room that people want to compete with Chloe, they want to be on her level. And that is such a compliment, Chloe, that you are not only a fantastic learner, but you are making the learners around you better. Uh, so absolute pleasure, very well deserved. And our final winner in English is Hannah Malik. And I've had um, a little bit of the pleasure of doing a few guest appearances in Hannah's lessons and can again feel the absolute quality of her learning. And Mr Martin has got some really warm words for Hannah. He says that Hannah's dedication to her studies has shone through from the first day of the course she is a fantastic student to have in the group who brings a lot to the lessons. She works hard to understand text on a really deep level and explains her analysis well, both during discussions and in her essays. She is a shining example of how to approach A-level study and is a positive role model to her peers. And from my uh, time teaching Hannah if, as a guest parent, I would agree with all those things. So big round of applause, please, for the English... and the team, again, have been incredibly impressed by the resilience shown this year and also the absolute dedication to try and catch up and to try and make sure that every day in school counts. So
So the key stage three French winner is Arouche. And Arouche has shown fantastic progress this year with her French learning and has progressed up a set as a result of her own hard work and absolute dedication to her studies. She is quietly determined, what a great phrase, quietly determined and openly participates in all lessons, not afraid to have a go and learn from mistakes and make sure that her writing and her work is extremely accurate. She challenges herself every lesson and we look forward to seeing her rise to the challenges of the next step. So well done to Arouche. In uh, Spanish, key stage three, we've got Cheyenne, the perfect example of a great language learner whose hard work and determination pays off. Great engagement in his Spanish lessons, quietly getting on with tasks, and really thinking about his learning and how to use his knowledge and skills. Uh, he's done fantastically well in his most recent assessment, and we look forward to seeing him develop further as a language learner. So well done, Cheyenne. At Key Stage 4, Key Stage 4 French, we've got Darcy, who's made some fantastic achievements in French during Year 7 and all the way through her Key Stage 3. She is now rising to the challenge of higher GCSE. She works extremely hard, extremely conscientious, asks relevant questions to ensure that her understanding of complex concepts is correct, and she can then go and apply these to her work. She can sometimes lack confidence in her own ability, but she, she needs to believe that she's a superstar that Miss Forster tells her every lesson. Uh, well done, Darcy. You make us very proud. And finally, uh, key stage four, Spanish, we have got Emily. Emily is determined in Spanish, and she works extremely hard in order to achieve very well in lessons and assessments. She has made some fantastic progress over key stages three and four, taking on feedback and working to reflect and improve on her work. This has particularly been the case in her most recent written work, where she has achieved an outstanding grade. Uh, Miss Booth says that you are fantastic, Emily, and that she has no doubt that you will continue to shine in Year 11. So well done to all the winners, please, for Modern Foreign Languages. Right, folks. Um, so... Because we've got a few unknown quantities in terms of um, when teachers are going to be free to come uh, present the rewards, I've just built in uh, a couple of little fill videos in case we need them. I'm, I'm not going to need this video, but if you look at the title, it says Find Your Greatness. You are here because you are great. Um, and, and what this little video talks about is what those qualities of greatness are. But if you listen really carefully to what the teachers are saying about each of our winners, you'll start to hear some of those common qualities of greatness about effort, hard work, determination, resilience, engagement, leadership. Those are all the qualities that have brought our winners here to this room today. Um, so we will keep going, because I can see Mr. Rigg. So Mr. Rigg, we will move over, um, whoops, don't play that. To our Faculty Awards for Performing Arts. Uh, and Mr. Rigg is going to speak on behalf of all of the subjects in Performing Arts. Okay, good afternoon. Our first awards go for drama and key stage three drama. Um, Ryan Khan taught by Miss Morley. Miss Morley said, Ryan enjoys his drama. He always crosses the threshold of the drama studio with a big smile on his face, a cheerful greeting and a ready to learn attitude. He approaches all aspects of the subject with enthusiasm and drive. He always keen to contribute in class discussion and answers questions. He can produce imaginative ideas and shape them into effective practical responses. He works extremely well with others and can lead in an organised and cooperative manner. He performs with growing confidence and Ryan is an absolute pleasure to teach. A big well done Ryan from Miss Morley. Second winner, Georgia Vaughan, Key Stage 4 Drama. Mr Andrews said, Georgia has worked incredibly hard in drama since starting the RSL acting course. She works hard in group work, showing excellent leadership skills and she shapes and develops the drama she is exploring. Her performance skills have developed well this year with greater range in her expression and physicality. Georgia showed excellent approach to her remote learning earlier in the year and she can be relied upon to always get involved and complete all aspects of her learning as well as some extracurricular activities. A big well done Georgia, an excellent year, keep up the hard work. 
Yeah. So can we have a round of applause for the uh, winners? Here? Okay, next comes up the awards for music. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Berry to present the music awards. Um, the Key Stage 3 award goes to Owen Richardson, the man, the myth, the legend. Owen has an incomparable obsession and dedication to music, which is on another level to anything I've witnessed before. His current accolades include ABR of 7 rock school grades, guitar grade 5, drums grade 5, jazz piano grade 2, music theory grade 3. Alongside this, he has music production and singing tuition. He plays in his own band and records and produces all of his own music. He is a remarkably talented and modest young man and we're excited to see what he achieves here at Priestall. And Daisy is a hard working, dedicated and resilient musician. She has been a part of pretty much every production club and showcase of Priestall. She is an incredibly talented vocalist, um, and this award is thoroughly deserved, and we're looking forward to seeing what she achieves. Congratulations. Okay, moving on to the PE Awards. Uh, the first award is Key Stage 3. Um, it's been a tough year in Key Stage 3 PE, uh, a very different year. Um, and in Zone 5, which is, is effectively our practical zone, um, you're faced with lots and lots of practical challenges throughout the, the day. Um, I'm pleased to see that Bailey's come through these challenges and he's taken actively full parts in PE lessons, which is absolutely brilliant. Miss Newsom said, Bailey tries his absolute best in every lesson, regardless of the activity being taught. He works well with others and has a real can-do attitude, taking on every huge challenge with a smile on his face. Okay, an absolute PE star, an all-round pleasure to teach. Well done, Bailey. The Key Stage 4 award uh, goes to Tom Hutchinson. Tom has continued to make an outstanding contribution in PE. He has a genuine love for sport and physical activity from football to fitness to his latest ventures, paddle boarding and canoeing in the Rodley Canal. <laughs> Tom's effort and motivation are consistently high and these behaviours serve to motivate others in the group and create a real positive atmosphere. Tom always, always works with a smile on his face and has developed real positive relationships with the PE department. This is helped by his all round knowledge of sport and his willingness to converse in a range of different contexts. Tom is a genuinely great lad, a real pleasure to teach, uh, and above all, is a massive League United fan. So, the Key Stage 4 PE Award goes to Tom Hutchinson. Moving on, Sports Science. Ayan has got the Sports Science Award, is highly motivated, is a hard working student, and this has resulted in some excellent coursework evidence in his Sports Science Award. Just like Tom, Ayan has a genuine interest in sport and is keen to research and apply a range of sporting examples to key theories. He approaches all lessons with a positive attitude and is focused on reaching the top mark bands. In practical context, Ayan works just as hard. He's keen to try new activities, even if this did mean when paddle boarding that he spent more time in the water rather than on the water, but he's always prepared to give it a go. Well done, Ayan. And finally, uh, the dance award goes to Lauren. Lauren has worked incredibly hard this year to improve her technique and choreographic skills, which has culminated in an extremely successful solo performance. It's been fantastic to see her confidence grow. Keep up the excellent work. A big well done, Lauren. <laughs> 